What's up everybody? This is Bakavites. I am Frank Furter, that is Magically Average, and today we are going to be talking about anime movies coming out in 2024, and maybe we might sprinkle in a few beyonds. Mm -hmm. maybe. maybe one, maybe. maybe two, we'll see. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot coming out this year. There's already a bit, uh, been a lot that has come out. So we figured, mm -hmm. you know what, why not take a, the time before, you know, this just mad scramble of what's going on, what information is getting out there, and just kind of break it down for you. And just give you a list and give you some dates, whether it be for just Japan or international. Mostly it's going to be just Japan and then speculating when it's going to come out internationally. Yeah. But there is a lot coming out this year. I feel like every year there's more and more coming out to Japanese theaters, let alone to uh, the uh, just theaters internationally mm -hmm. so with that let's get through it we are using a couple of different uh website lists uh we are on go uh go shoe games go shoe gamers yeah i am we can provide uh, links in the, the description we'll provide podcast, links in the description yeah. and then also we are on august man which is just basically a top 10 of theirs that they're looking forward to so breaking it down um We've already had a bunch of movies come out in January. I know stateside, I went to go see two. I saw the uh, 15th anniversary editions of the Gurren Lagann movies. Those were fantastic. If you haven't seen them, the second movie, uh, they basically recap the entire show in two movies, but the second movie is a vast departure from the actual show. So if you've seen the show, you love the show, highly recommend going to see the movies because there is a huge difference. But um, we had, I think, the biggest one uh, to come out in January that was worldwide release was uh, Marabosh uh, Maboroshi. I sp yeah, no, we're gonna go with that pronunciation. Maboroshi. Uh, it was the Mappa movie that came out on Netflix. Oh, that's which, right. Yeah. Yes, which I've heard up and down things about. I, I have not watched it for myself, so I can't really give you um, a description of whether it was good or bad. And I've heard very mixed things. I've heard some people praise it and say it was great. And I've heard other people being like, it's pretty. That's about it. Yeah. So. I, I honestly, because we had I, not previewed it, but we had talked about it before the start of the new year. And it caught my attention because the trailer looked very intriguing. It was very mysterious. And it was done by Mappa, so yeah, it looked pretty. But... I think people, when it first came out, it was like, there was like a really quick, like, ha, spike. And then it just went back down. And like, it's been silent ever since. Like, yeah. I haven't heard a peep from anyone talking about it. So, yeah. Um, I, I probably will give it a watch. I mean, the nice thing is on Netflix, I guess. So, you know. It's on Netflix. Um, but yeah. And the other movie that I kind of recognize that came out in January is uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Freedom. And I don't know if that's actually a new movie or if that is an older movie. Mm. So I'm going to do a little yep. bit of uh, talking to you and it's a new movie. Okay, cool. To, yeah, I was going to have to Seed... talk to our Gundam expert, Jutendo. Yeah, no. I know that Seed was a form of Gundam that has been out for a while. I just didn't realize that they were making more in that universe. So yeah. good for you if you're a Mobile Suit Gundam fan. Um, but really, the reason why we wanted to talk about movies is that there's two huge movies coming out slash out in Japan currently, and that is, and I, I say movies with a quote, uh, one of them is the Demon Slayer movie, which is the Hashira training arc, which is, I found out, the last episode of the previous season because the last episode was like a double episode mm -hmm. i thought it was two episodes but because it was a double is one episode it's so. basically two episodes because the last episode yeah. is like 50 minutes or whatever 45 so it's the last episode of that and then the first episode of the hashira training arc um which is also so, a double i think so it's like 45 yeah it's like 45 minutes to an hour they say the press release says an hour but more than likely it's 45 minutes um yeah so, like, if you're going to, like, this movie came out February 2nd, it says, um, in Japan. I don't know. I feel like it just came out, like, two a weekend ago, so no, maybe. It's, if for U.S., it's coming out 23rd, February. No, from, oh. Yeah. From, no, no, I'm talking Japan. Yeah, no. Uh, in the U.S., it comes out this Friday as of her, this recording. It comes out on Friday. Yeah. But um, the thing that I'm looking at currently says February 2nd, which I thought it was I, a little bit later than that. So No, it, it sounds about right. I think I think based on when other movies have come out. 
Um, okay. So yeah, by the time this is posted, it'll, the Demon Slayer movie will be coming out in the U.S. like two days later. So yeah, this look this movie is coming quote, out Friday of recording. Quote movie. Quote unquote movie. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. we'll just call it episode preview or season preview. Um, yeah. but yeah, that's, that's one of the big ones that's out right now in Japan coming to the U S and the other one, which is high, like, is it's debatably a lot bigger. In my opinion, it is, is the high Q movie battle for the garbage dump, which is a continuation of season four and a continuation of the plot rather than giving it a season. They're doing a movie. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people are upset still that they've decided that they're going to end the series with like three movies. I want to say um, it's yeah. either two or three movies, yeah. but because they're supposed to cover like 150 chapters, if I'm not mistaken, or 200 chapters, something in that ballpark, which is insane. That's a lot of chapters. So unless those chapters have like a lot of filler where not a lot is going on, yeah, then I, I get it. But, um, yeah, that actually just released last weekend in Japan. Um, and it's, I haven't read reviews about it because I kind of want to be radio silence on it until it comes out in the States. Um, which there's still no date yeah. yet. Yep. Um, but I am definitely looking forward to this one because I, I freaking love Haikyuu. And if you've never seen the dub of Haikyuu, if you enjoyed the dub for Kaguya-sama because of how freaking ridiculous and insane it is, it's the same thing for Haikyuu. It is yeah. just absolutely off the walls crazy. It's it's a fun time. I do highly recommend the series. I know it's a show like a sports shonen series, but it's legitimately fun. And it doesn't take itself entirely too seriously at times. Yeah. Most of the time. The only thing I'll say to the Haikyuu movie is that people, at least a handful of people on social media, um, are have been shocked at the box office ratings and the like general appetite for Haikyuu versus Demon Slayer because we post about it on our TikTok too this week but basically people are confused at Demon Slayer like the voice actors themselves uh, the Japanese voice actors for uh, Tanjiro Nezuko and Zenetsu went to the like the the red carpet showing of Demon Slayer and they were like it was you know beginning was good and then it started to get slow in the second half and it's like yeah you're watching the ending the the conclusion of a season which is like in intensity to the max with like a major spoiler to yeah. general exposition for the second half of the film because it's just setting up season four like that, that's which, it if which you is, don't know anything about season four it, i don't it's, it's a tournament season arc four, it's a it's, tournament arc let's oh, just put it out there I, it's a I wasn't arc. even i wasn't even going to say it was a tournament arc i i thought it was more so like a flashback montage of like everybody's training themselves to like become better and they kind of like flashback to their I, their past so that, i i haven't read it i thought that that's what it was basically but the, the reviews yeah the reviews i've seen is basically it's just setting up to be like a tournament arc okay so, well yeah i i definitely wouldn't get my hopes up for this as well <laughs> for the fact that this season, quote unquote, is only covering nine chapters. And if, to put that into perspective, the Mugen Train movie that came out covered 12 chapters. So why they didn't make a movie out of this, I don't know. But they're, you know what? It's All power to them. It's weird. It's more demon. It's weird, though, because they're falling into this like AOT trap of of like doing way more with with like not as much needed just to elongate it it feels like yeah so we'll see um the other comment i want to make is you forgot another major film that's already out that will be coming out to theaters in the u.s in april i believe which is the spy family code white which is the non-canonical movie so similar similar vein to like my my hero movies where it's just going to be like a standalone film Um, you are right which is which has gotten uh, very high praise as well. I think it's it's grossed as of last week on Friday or Saturday. It's grossed six billion yen in the box office, which is roughly. I'm gonna do quick math in my head based on previous things, like thirty eight million. I want to say said six billion. Yeah, I think it's it surpassed six billion yen. 
Um, so I think it's like roughly like 38 million US dollars. Thousand. I want to say one. I could be wrong. Million. Yeah, I don't know. It was about four million dollars. It's definitely not four million. <laughs> I can tell you that much. No, oh, well. because six six billion. It's fine. Math is hard. Um, that I'm yep. ex- that I'm actually excited for because the I know people are always very animated when it comes to the My Hero films. I just like them because they're just like they're just superhero films they're, there's nothing really to them there's not a great backstory or or much reasoning as to why they're doing the thing they're doing yeah like the first one i remember the first one was really cool because they at least hinted at characters that were mentioned in the the first season or two i want to say and so it was cool to actually like see them and get to like a, like know them somewhat you know in, in the the limited scope of just a single film but you know beyond that um i find them enjoyable they're not great by any means like they're not superb but you know they're just they're good they're good watch um i'm basically going into spy family with that same mentality like it's just it's there's just gonna be a good watch right it's It's gonna be a fun time yeah yeah don't expect like superb storytelling or like an incredible backstory or much character growth or anything beyond that like it's just you're just gonna go in there and you're gonna have a good time so exactly mundo that's but, a, yeah i'm excited for that one yeah and then also just kind of to note things that came out late last year in japan that haven't come out here um or at least to my knowledge they haven't there was one in the summer and one in the winter and they were the rascal does not dream of movies uh yeah. i forget what they were called off the top of my head rascal does not dream of knapsack Knapsack Girls. Kid. Yeah, Knapsack Kid was the winter one. And then Rascal. was the one that came out in December. And then I forget which came out in June. But basically, there were two uh, Bunny Girl Senpai movies. I don't believe either also, of them have come out in the States. I yeah. know, especially the last one, the Knapsack Kid, has not come out in the States because um, that usually takes at minimum three months. Normally, uh, if not, yeah. minimum is three months, but the normal is about five to six, I yeah. feel like. Always depends, too, because like Demon Slayer is obviously coming out much quicker. And that's from... because it's a season rather than yep. that's coming out in April, so it's already ready to just, yeah. to just go. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Also, for those of you who don't know, because uh, it took me a while to actually understand it, um, the Rascal Does Not Dream Of is like a full-on series. There's like... I want to say there's something in the ballpark of like nine to twelve uh, short stories, not short stories, but like um, n- novels, I guess you would say, that are of that series. And there's like only three or two manga. There's the Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, and then Raz- Rascal Does Not Dream of uh, Ko- uh, Ko- like Young Kohai Demon or whatever. Petite Devil Kohai. Yeah, Petite yeah. Devil I pulled Kohai. it. I pulled it up. There are twelve light novels with a thirteenth coming out this summer. Boom! Look at me. Guys. And yeah, and then there's a f- handful of manga. Um, I don't think. Yeah, th- I think there's been a limited amount translated to English because I've only been able to find. There's been three. three. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. So you have you have the Rascal does not dream Man, of Bunny Girl Senpai. Just... Rascal does not dream of Petite Devil Kohai, and then it came out in November. But you have Rascal does not dream of Logical Witch. So, so if you're confused by like why it's not Rascal Does a Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, it's because there's like literally a dozen more different shorts, like night, light novels from that same series. So those are what those movies yeah. are. I'm interested. I, I having watched, um, the, you know, part of the anime, I, I want to watch the rest of it with my wife because she liked it. Um, I, I'm interested to see what the others are like, like if they would be well received, similar to rascal does that dream of bunny girl senpai because that had like a huge immediate like attraction of of fans to it um just from like the story alone and and the characters i'm wondering if they'll receive that same at least on the west right uh, you know in the united states if yeah they'll have that same flock of fans if those movies come out because i i honestly don't know if many people are aware that those even exist 
Yeah, I I think the the one movie the does not dream of a dreaming girl. I believe that's already out in the states um, physically. That came out in 2019 in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I believe I actually own this movie, so I <laughs> still haven't seen it. <laughs> but damn it. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, no. We theoretically, hopefully, we may get those, but more than likely, we probably won't especially since they're about like 75 minutes each so it's like kind of just three yeah. episodes in one um might just be so, like a straight to crunchy roll sort of thing potentially yeah but yeah. yeah that is what has come out so far and what is out currently let's talk a little bit into what's coming out in the future for at least in japan that we know of and the first one that I want to start out with, which I've only heard, like, this is a great manga. I haven't read what the synopsis is about. I've only seen the covers of the manga, and it looks great. It looks funny. Um, I don't know if it is actually a funny series. But Dead Dead Daemon's uh, D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D Destruction. Sorry, there's four Ds in there. It's D-E-D-E-D-E-D. Which part one comes out in March, and then part two comes out in April. And I don't know much about it, but I know that I've seen like the art, like the artwork for it, and it looks great, mm -hmm. and it looks like something right up my alley. So I'm I'm hoping that this does well enough to come over to the states because I forget who does like who created this because it's got a very unique art style to it, which I'm just buying my time right now so I can. I look can talk this about up. other ones. Sure, go boop, for boop, it. Boop, boop, boop. So we have. Oh, that's why. Oh boy, oh. it's this. Uh, yeah. So no wonder it's. It looks very familiar. It's written by the same guy that wrote Goodnight Pun Pun. Uh, so. Oh. oh. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> but the the genres for it are post apocalyptic science fiction, science fiction, and slice of life. So. <laughs> there's that for you. I like the 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 slice of life kicker at the end. Just kind of spun it completely around. Yeah, the, the plot of it, the short plot of it is a large spaceship appears over Tokyo three years before the story starts. One-sided war against the seemingly harmless aliens ensues, sparking controversy and pacifism. Despite Ooh. this unique and tragic event, high school girls Koyama Kodore yeah. and Nakagawa Oran behave as if nothing has changed. They live their lives like they have always, or like they always have. The focus of the story is not the alien invasion, but human nature, dialogue, growing up, and life. Aww. So basically, they're just living their lives as like a war is going on, it seems. Sweet. Casual living. Yeah, um, so I'm looking forward to this. I really do hope this comes out to the States because it, it yeah. It, I, if you yeah. have not read Goodnight Pun Pun, um, be <laughs> warned, it is very dark. Yeah. Um, I, so on to your comment about it, hopefully coming out to the U S we should also just make note that, um, most of the ones that we're going to be telling you about, uh, either have a relatively known date for Japanese release or unknown right now. Uh, but like, I think all of them have a definitive, just no known release outside of Japan. So Correct. some of these that we're talking about might not ever come to theaters this year or even next year. We don't know. Um, this is correct. What we can say, though, for certain, because of the following and large community of fans in the you know, outside of Japan for these series is that the Chainsaw Man movie and the Bochi the Rock, quote unquote, movies, plural, um, will both likely get U.S. states. Um, and if you're yes. not aware, if you're not aware of both, Chainsaw Man is not getting a second season immediately. It's getting a movie following the Reese arc, which uh, I'm extremely excited for. I think that's yeah. gonna be that's a perfect way to do this. Is just in a movie because that entire arc, from like in in terms of just start to finish, is very like film esque, very theatrical. I would say. So I'm excited to see that when it comes out in film. The Boach of the Rock films are just a compilation a recap of, of the season. Yeah, it's it's Boach of the Rock Re in spring of, uh, in Japan and then Boach of the Rock Re Re <laughs> in summer in Japan. And it's yeah, it's just going to be the first half of the, the first season and then the second half of the first season, which is not the news that we wanted to hear as Bochi fans. But, you know, we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. 
Um, the only other one that you did not mention that is coming out in Japan that more than likely will oh. come out in the States yeah. is Look Back. Oh, which I was going to say My oh. Hero. <laughs> and My well, Hero. Well, My Hero is up in the air because it does come out August 2nd. So if we follow the three-month to six-month rule, could be, like could it December. could be the end of the year. It could be early 2025. Could be December. You know, It could be. But I, yeah, I more like... than likely that will not be a, a worldwide release. Uh, unfortunately, the my hero one or look back? my hero, my hero look back definitely won't be because we would have gotten that news that it was coming out um, June twenty first. Which, by the way, look back. It is a uh, one shot done by the same author of Chainsaw Man. Uh, it is basically it is a fantastic one shot. If you've not read it, I do highly recommend it. But it is coming out June twenty first or June. I thought it was June twenty eighth actually. Uh, in ah, you said the date. One of the two. Well, this article says June 21st, but I remember oh. June 28th more prevalently. Oh, because I'm looking at the wrong movie. It is June 28th. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so Look Back's coming out June 28th in Japan, but because it is done by an author that is so prevalent in the Western audience as well, I feel like we will get this one by the end of the year. Because this, this is one that I feel like this story in general... As well as his other one shot, Goodbye Eddie, uh, those two movie or those two one shots really resonated well with the Western audience. That I feel like they would want to bring it out as quickly as they can. So, I if I had to take an educated guess, I would say this comes out in October. I'm, I think they they do four months, maybe early November. I'm not ready to be sad again. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, look look. I love. Tatsugi Fujimoto's recent works, I'll say, too, because I, I have yet to read through Fire Punch. Um, but Goodbye Airy, Look Back, Chainsaw Man, all fantastic. All very emotional in their own ways. Um, Chainsaw Man, more obvious. Look Back, though, is that's it's going to be hard to watch. It, it broke me the first time I read it. Yeah, it, it's, it's it going to be. Yeah. I, so I am going to be the glass half empty type person though in this situation and say that I'm not entirely positive it is going to get uh, worldwide releases or even a US release because I find it challenging to imagine this film being more than like an hour and 20 minutes. Truthfully. It, it would be more in line with like a short film like a maybe like a 45 minute to maybe an hour film i could see it being an hour hour and a half just for the fact that there are so many panels in this story that are just like there's no dialogue that i could see them drawing it out to be a bit bigger of a scene than it is actually in the manga the one that really stands out is the kind of running slash walking in the rain um yeah there, well, there's that that scene which is absolutely incredible mm -hmm. um there's no words to it but it's absolutely incredible and i it's just one of those things that i can see them spanning this movie out to be a little bit further than you know 45 minutes to an hour but the only time will tell yeah i just it from if, if if you have seen the trailer for it uh you'll understand if you haven't uh go watch it but the trailer basically in, like encapsulates sort of what the movie I feel like is going to be like, in which it is going to be those very long drawn out scenes of just silence. Like you're going to get a lot of like that atmospheric sound. You're not going to get a lot of music behind it. It's just going to be, you know, drawing, like putting pencils down, moving things around, moving in and out of the chair, getting up. Like it, it, there's not a total, like, and this is not a discredit to the, the, to the, the short story, right? It, it's a wonderful, wonderful tale. But right. there, there is a large chunk of it that is just, for lack of a better phrase, like just silence. Like yeah. There is no dialogue. There is no, like, real interactions. A lot of the time there's, like, you're kind of, like, have characters isolated doing their own thing. And I can see them taking that and 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 going very creative with how they want to portray that on film could absolutely see them doing it to the point where it could be maybe close to an hour and 30. I just don't think that it's going to be 
good if they do that because you're going to get sequences of like these immensely long drawn out scenes of just nothing and it's gonna it's gonna feel painful i think to watch you're just kind of sitting there like looking up at the the screen just going do i talk am i supposed to talk like are we like yeah are we okay what's going on here so yeah i, I don't know i i i mean again i am eagerly awaiting some sort of announcement about it releasing outside of japan i just i'm not entirely sure that it would just it would go to theater it maybe maybe a limited release in theater like yeah. a, a weekend very you know for at very specific theaters throughout the u.s um and then just right over to streaming i don't know about right over to streaming but yeah i i I think you're right in the sense that it, there's a chance that it doesn't come over immediate. Well, not immediately, but like it won't come out for a, like it won't be out for a long time. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think that there's some, there's some credit to that because yeah, I could see them going with a 45 minute to an hour, but I could also see them an hour to a, a feature length, an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, Cause I think the so short it, story is only like, is it, is it less than a hundred pages or right around like 110 somewhere around there um, i have the physical I volume remember. i could just run down and get it but i mean yeah mine's mine's literally behind me somewhere yeah. but i mean i'm just looking it up to see yeah i don't but like i don't remember it being terribly long like similar to like goodbye area like both are not terribly long um but, but... goodbye area is longer also yeah. uh, look back is 144 pages whether all those pages are actual part of the story or they're just you know Here's like the publishing all, information. Yeah. Yeah. Here's oh, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but like, but whether in, or not there's part of that, but yeah, it's about 144 pages. But in comparison to like a, a manga volume with four to you know, or like you know, six chapters, we'll say right, and a manga volume volume right around there, um, those can be anywhere from like 120 to 180 pages too. Yeah. So you're talking roughly an average we'll, we'll just say an average just manga volume turned into a film so which isn't that bad because if you think about it, it about four volumes are covered in a season that's 12 episodes that's four episodes for a volume times yeah. that by 25 or whatever 24 25 yeah, you're getting, whatever you're getting you right there you're getting right you're there. getting right there with the feature length so yeah um but if, for those of you wondering goodbye airy 208 pages yeah. Uh, the, but yeah, that, no. That one had more, like substance too. Ah, I wouldn't. Say, that, I wouldn't even just say substance. It it had more. It had more scenes where there was just very simplistic dialogue, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, like a ping pong match. That's fair. But yeah, those are like the bigger movies that um, we kind of glossed through to just say like these have the best chances of coming out in mm -hmm. the United States or outside of Japan in general. Um, there are a handful of others that are on this list that I do want to cover that are coming out in Japan that are things to look out for. I want to because I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you right there. Um, because I'm if gonna you I'm bring gonna... up if you bring up the movie, I think you're gonna bring up. Oh, I go for it. Well, now I have to. Now I'm scared. Should I be? All right, I'm just gonna go for it. Um, I need everyone listening and watching. I need you to pour one out. Um, because. I have ser terrible, terrible news that we will not be getting Butt Detective, the movie, oh. in the United States. What a tragedy. It's, not, it's not going to happen. Travesty, tragedy, travesty. You said, okay, hang on. So I got to time out myself again. Uh, you crazy. said that Here last time. You said that literally the last time we recorded, you said a tra tra tragesty, tragesty, tra yeah. tragesty, and I I didn't say anything. You were going through a lot at that time too. I didn't say anything. I just kind I kind of let it go because I was like tragedy, travesty. I was like, okay, fair enough. This is now the second time, and I am allowed to give you shit for it. That is not a word. Be kind. You should no, <laughs> absolutely not. You did not deserve it this time. You get you get one. You get one grace period of of me letting it slide the first time. Not anymore. I like um, to make up words occasionally. <laughs> that all, is one of them. <laughs> we all do. That's, that, that's a good one. Yeah, no. Uh, but detective, not gonna get it. Uh, if you're not familiar with it too, 
Good luck finding it to watch too. The VPN to Japan, go to Hulu. It is a blast. Yeah, a yeah. literal, a literal puff in the wind. Yeah, it it um, is phenomenal. The amount of effort Frankfurter and I put in to be able to watch it one night was the equivalent of trying to break into the fucking CIA. Like we, it took us like thirty <laughs> minutes to figure out how to get it, and then we legitimately watched. A non subtitled Japanese show, so we didn't understand fucking <laughs> Not shit. Not a lick of it. Not a lick of it. Which, to be fair, it is a children's show that is like teaching them about like things, oh, yeah. so like this, like vocabulary and this, also just social situations, etc. Like movie, it is like a, a learner's beginner's guide to Japanese. Yeah. And we were just sitting there like, haha, his face farted. This motherfucker goes to like an art auction undercover because art's been getting stolen and it's like super intense police show up like they're about to nab him and then it just breaks to but detective has 20 gold he wants to purchase this piece of art how much gold and i'm like whoa we just broke into like <laughs> i forgot about straight that. up yeah like it's like it just pops into like a math lesson out of nowhere and I'm like, I'm like, no, get back, get back. That, that fucker just walked away with a Picasso. Get him. And they're like, they're like, the chicken over here wants to buy this piece of art. It cost eight. They only have six. And I was like, I don't care. Uh, he's poor. Get him out of here. Go catch the guy. He literally just took that thing right in front of you. If this man it's, bids 10 gold, yeah, how many gold like, do you need to bid in order to win? I was like, <laughs> just shove it. Shove that gold up your ass. Go catch him. It's, I can't it remember. so funny. Side tangent uh, to continue. We're already on a side tangent. Yeah, I know. But um, did did everybody have butt faces, or was it just the butt detective? No, no, no. no. It was just the butt detective. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Like, cool. That's right. To to, to I'm describe, just remembering correctly. To describe the cast of characters, there was the butt detective. There was like like a regular person with them, but then like the captain of the police was like this tiny tiny thing like they, they were like a foot tall and i think they were just wearing underwear like the cast of characters was outrageous for this show don't it wasn't there a cat or something somewhere yeah, there, there was, was a, some sort of animal yeah I mean, no, that's what i mean like there was there was an anthropomorphic being of some sort like it, this show oh, is, there are a lot of anthropomorphic beings in this <laughs> well i mean our main characters got a butt for a face um yeah, sure. and if you're wondering yes in the theme song, he does fart out of his face, I think, like, three or four times. And it is it is a phenomenal oh. fucking theme song. It is also a longer oh. theme song than a minute 30. Yeah, it is, like, a legitimately like... two-minute long, <laughs> two-and-a-half-minute long, like, yeah. oh, shitty, oh, shitty, or something like yeah. that. It's just like, what is going on? Look up Butt Detective. It's a, it's a blast from the past, and I mean that with a pun. Anyways... Um, but no, I thought you were going to bring up uh, the Overlord movie, the Holy Kingdom arc, which is coming out in summer 2024. No. Um, there's no specific date. It's coming. It just has summer 2024. Yeah. That's why I was like, be careful. Be careful what you look for or wish for. But no. Um, no. Other than that, there are a handful of movies that I do really just want to kind of glance over, not glance over, go through and just kind of like bring your awareness. Um, first one being a movie coming out May 10th in Japan called Trapeze, uh, Trapezium, which is basically it is a film written by a former idol um, about a girl who goes through ice, high school who wants to become an idol. So she really limits like her life in order to achieve her dream. Um, and it seems, I mean, from the, the tone of the way it was written, like the summary was written, it seems very interesting. It seems like there could be a good comedy aspect to it. Um, whether or not that's true or not, I have no clue, but that definitely does, um, like it kind of rings some interest in me and especially because it's also being done by Cloverworks. So mm -hmm. it'll be, it'll be an interesting movie to keep on the radar. Uh, the other one that I wanted to go through real quick, if I can find it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, here it is. Uh, it is a movie called Your Color, um, but in Japanese it's called Kimi no Iro, um, yes. which is, uh, there's no release date for it. One website says TBD, another says Winter 2024. There's just really no real hard evidence as to when it's coming out, but it's basically, it's a movie being directed by the director of K-On!, and written by the person who wrote Violet Evergarden. 
So, but the description for the movie is the story revolves around a high school girl gifted with the ability to perceive people's emotions as colors. However, she often prioritizes the emotions of others over expressing her true feelings. The story delves into her struggles, her encounters with different individuals, and her journey toward finding hope amidst these challenges. So it seems like kind of just like a coming of age type story with a little bit of supernatural sp- like in there yeah and i i'm definitely interested in it for the fact that those two series are prolific in their own ways um so yeah Yeah. it's it's something that i'm keeping on my radar hopefully we'll hear more about it later in the year yeah Um, I, i would also be remiss if i didn't mention there are a number of other anime or anime films coming out for TV I shows. Yeah. Well, and I don't know if they're continuations or if they're standalones. Um, the ones I do know of off the top of my head, and you can fact check me on the rest too. There's going to be a Blue Lock film. Episode um, Nagi. Yep. There's going to be a Detective Conan film, I want to say. There um, is. Yep. And then I feel like I'm missing another fairly big anime that's getting a film as well. Well, you have, have Overlord, it. and then you have... I, there's a huge... Uh, we are not part of this fandom. I have not watched the show, but there's a huge following for Love Live, and there's yes, a movie okay. coming up for Love Live. That might have been the other one. Yeah, because, I mean, we, we've already mentioned the other big ones at the beginning. My Hero, yeah. uh, Chainsaw Man. Yep. So, but those, now, are the, I don't... those are some other ones that I know are coming out. Um, yeah. Again, whether or not they, they are released in the U.S. this year or later in 2025, who knows? Um, but they do have Japanese like, d- dates set in Japan for release. Yes, that is correct. But yeah, there's a lot to look forward to, and we'll get more news as they come along. Um, if you want more of that news, we'll definitely be posting it as it comes out via TikTok um, because we like to post news stories there sometimes. Yeah, and YouTube. Especially, when especially we, when about. We remember to post yes. <laughs> when you remember to post. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I think out of everything that we've talked about today, uh, Haikyuu is definitely the biggest one on my radar that I'm very much so looking forward to. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's such a great, fun series. Uh, yeah. Other than that, I would say probably the um, Dead Dead Daemon's DDDDD Destruction. That one is also like that one. I'm like because I'm so unsure of. It's just I'm gonna keep my f- just tabs on it. Mm-hmm. Just to see, but um, those are the two biggest ones, in my opinion, for me, other than, you know, Look Back and Chainsaw Man. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I'm really just looking forward to Chainsaw Man, and then I think the other fun one is is going to be the Spy Family Code White. Just cause, Oh, that's right. I always yeah. forget about it because it already came out in Japan. But yeah. I don't know if we actually mentioned it. There is no release date currently for Chainsaw Man, the movie. Like yeah. We don't even know if it's coming out in 2024. Well, yeah, we we had mentioned it, but really the only dates that we have for all the films that we've talked about are the date for um, Spy Family, which I believe is is sometime in April. Uh, I want to say it's like April 13th or somewhere around there. Um, and then for Demon Slayer, which will be February 23rd. So a couple which days after. Friday. Yep, a couple days after this releases. So yeah, the rest that we've mentioned, again, just to kind of reiterate, uh, no definitive dates in the US, you know, let alone... When, like if they're actually going to be released in the U.S. too. Another thing I would be remiss if I didn't mention as well is that this is we're only like doing this on February twentieth, right? Like we're still early on into to twenty twenty four. There are still probably a number of films yet to be announced for release that that could potentially get released in the U.S. Maybe more likely that it'll be closer to twenty twenty like in twenty twenty five. But uh, you know we're still fairly. You know, just getting this year moving along. So we've got a lot to look forward to, but there has been a lot already announced. So it's yes. just, it's a ton, ton to look forward to and to keep track of. I think that's going to be the hardest thing because we don't have, we don't have U.S. dates for most, you know, basically of any of these. Yeah. And, and the we, worst and part, of, yeah. And the worst part usually is that tickets for said movies when they do have dates don't release, like, don't go out to the public for like, until a week before the movie's coming out. Well, and, so it's it's really difficult to keep up with it, especially when they do that to you. And uh, apparently, because of where I live, which is not terribly far from a major city, mind you, 
uh, sometimes you don't even get the fucking movie released nearby you. You have to go like states away. So it's like, even then, it's it's just annoying. And then you have to, you're like, all right, well, I guess I'll wait for this to come out on streaming services or whatever. So, yeah, I am. Um, I, but I am excited. I'm I'm hopeful that we're gonna get a number of these coming to theaters this year. Uh, again, my top one is the Chainsaw Man one, just because I absolutely adore the upcoming arc in uh, it's the one manga. of the better ones. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's one that is the closest to my heart, but this one is, this one is definitely the second. I think out of all the all the out of all the arcs throughout the first part of the manga uh, series, this is my second favorite. So it'll be it'll be good to see it in film. But yeah, we'll just kind of keep fingers crossed, hope for the hope for upcoming dates for the rest of them, and um, keep our eyes out for other ones too. Yep, and we will definitely be letting you guys know about dates uh, in shorter form content, which you can find on TikTok and YouTube. On TikTok, we are Bakako News. YouTube, we are Bakako Podcast. We're going to get Thank all this all sorted for... out, too, because it's annoying yeah, to have to keep It is annoying around. to just say two different, <laughs> two different names. But um, we do want to greatly thank you for joining us this week. If you've listened thus far, thank you for sticking around um, and listening to us to fucking ramble about dumbass things and side tangents well, hey. and... And no, wait, 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 I don't wait, even wait, remember. Wait, wait. Full, I don't even remember the, the the word I mispronounced. <laughs> full, uh, tra- tragedy. Tragedy. Yes. And full Thank credit you. to Butt Detective. Do not do not soil. Oh, I sully the name of Butt Detective. No, sir. soil is the better word. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. but thank you all for joining us we greatly appreciate it we will be back next week with a brand new episode so until next time spark triumph we'll see you then